How's it going? Today we are going to be going over allergic reactions. So what are allergic reactions? Well, an allergic reaction is just an overreaction. So let's go overreaction of immune system. So that's what that is, right? It's just an overreaction of your of your immune system. Um it overreacts, right? That's what it means. So what causes an allergic reaction? Things called allergens, all right? So what is an allergen specifically? Well, an allergen is really a foreign body. So anything that doesn't really belong in your body, that's considered an allergen. It could be pollen. It could be dander from an animal. Even feathers can be considered an allergen. Mites chemicals, the list goes on and on. So it could be anything, right? So anything could really be an allergen. So what happens is the allergy gets in your body, your body thinks that it's some kind of virus or bacteria and it attacks it, and we'll go over how that actually works and what is happening during this situation. But just know an, an allergic reaction is just your immune system overreacting to an allergen. And the allergen is anything that's foreign. So it could be a pollen, dander, uh, dandruff, feather, um, mites, and chemicals, um, and the list goes on and on. So there are two types of allergic reactions. You have your mild allergic reactions, and then you have your severe allergic reactions, a.k.a. anaphylaxis, a.k.a. anaphylactic shock. All right? Now, your mild allergic reaction, it's going to be localized. So wherever... Um, that allergen came in contact with your body, whether it's the surface of your skin, um, you, when eating something. So if you were, this right here is a mouth. If you were eating something, maybe your mouth might swell up inside, your lips might swell up. If you got stung by a bee, it might just be localized. So it's not really a big deal. You'll have swelling wherever it came into contact with your body, whether it's inside or outside. So swelling, irritation, right? And then what's gonna happen? You're gonna you're gonna be itchy. You're gonna have discomfort. So mild allergic reaction really isn't a huge deal, but you want to watch out because it can progress and turn into a severe uh, allergic reaction. So this one is a big deal. This one actually does uh, matter, and you want to be very careful with this. You want to act fast. So what does it affect? It affects your entire system for the most part. It affects your vessels and it affects your lungs sometimes. Um, and it also could affect all of your skin. You'll see it everywhere. So, but we care more about these, right? So it's system-wide, but you're, uh, when you're in a severe allergic reaction, your bronchioles may constrict. So your bronchioles, in case you don't know, these are um, your bronchi. We'll say these are your lungs. Your bronchioles are the little tubes inside your lungs that carry the oxygen to the alveoli for gas exchange to the alveoli. That way O2 can be carried to the rest of your body and you can stay alive. So that's why these right here will shut down. And that's why that's a big deal. You don't want that to happen, right? All right, so bronchos, bronchioles dilate and your vessels, I'm sorry, bronchioles constrict. Um, I might have said that wrong. So bronchioles are going to constrict and vessels will dilate. Well, if your vessels dilate, they get bigger. Your volume is going to stay the same, but now your tank is going to increase in size, so the pressure is going to go down. So blood pressure goes down, blood flow slows down. So it's going to slow down because vessels are dilating. Um, so how does this all happen? Like what's really going on? So we know that the signs and symptoms of mild and uh, severe allergic reactions. We know why, uh, what actually happens with a severe allergic reaction and what actually happens with a mild, which is not that big of a deal. So what's really going on down like in this 